In this video, I'm going to show you how to open up the transmit on this ICOM ICV86 Handy Talkie. It's a very easy job and I'm going to make it real easy for you. But, you're going to want to do this at your own risk. I did this on my HT and I didn't have any ill effects from it. But if you do, then like I said, it's at your own risk. Okay? This is Rudy from Take a Bath Productions with another video showing you how to fix various things. If you're a subscribed member to my community, then welcome back. If you're new to this channel, consider clicking that subscribe button below and please like this video if it was helpful for you. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so before you get started, uh, you're going to need a little uh, tool to get this nut off of the BNC connector right here. I made one right here. Uh, you can make one out of this. You might be able to buy one of these online, but it's just a piece of metal that I used a grinder to grind. I've got the BNC here and the, uh, the I think it's an SMA connector on, on the other side. Go ahead and disconnect your battery. All right, you're going to want to remove these two screws. You're going to want to pull off your VFO knob. I use a plastic tool like this to try not to gouge up the, uh, the, the plastic on the HT. And this works very well. Just kind of pry it up and then remove it. And then on this BNC connector, There we go. All right, now to get this part started out of here, you got to get this uh, to, to move. You can either like push these buttons will kind of help press that down and get it started, and then you can finish it like that. And there's a couple of little notches right here that if you're very careful, you can get in there with a flat screwdriver. Just like so, no damage and everything comes apart just like that. Okay, so you can see where we're going to be working at on the board here. Here's the top where the antenna goes and the uh, VFO. Okay, there's a little component right here. I think it's a diode right next to the screen on the right side as you're looking at it from the top. Okay, let me give you a close up on that. It's the only one there, so it shouldn't be a hard thing to remove. All right, this little guy right here. Now, uh, normally I would like to use my hot air station to remove this, but since it's so close to the screen, I'm a little worried that the heat from the hot air station is going to get onto the bottom side of the screen there and damage it. So I'm going to use this X-Acto knife, and let me just go ahead and show you just to pop that guy off of there. Just kind of get it under there, under the middle, just like so, and... Give it a little shove, and it's out of there. All right, just that simple. I'm going to take a closer look at the board, make sure there's nothing uh, touching each other where it's not supposed to be. Okay, so I took a closer look at the board there, and it is perfect. There's no damage at all. Okay, so we've got this thing all back together. Just going to give you a quick little test here so that you can see it works. As you can see here, we're on 151.820, which is one of the MURS frequencies. It does work. Testing, one, two, testing, one, two. All right, I had it on low power, and we are in a dummy load, for those of you out there who are wondering. Uh, we should have transmit from 136 to 174, so let's go ahead and go to 136, and we'll tune the other one to 136, just so you can see that. Test, test, one, two, test, test, one, two. All right, and then 174, 
will be the other one. All right, we got that one on 174. And one, two, three, four, five, we're working. All right, so that's all there is to it. It works fine. I haven't seen any ill effects yet from doing this mod. It seems like it's working just like it's supposed to be. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.